Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming today. I'm Kenjiro Sako. I would like to introduce our research titled as Fairness in ERC Token Market, a case study of CryptKitties. Our research investigates the fairness of markets that use smart contracts. As a case study, we focus on a game called CryptKitties. We found that CryptKitties does not satisfy some of the conditions of fairness. We proved that some of players have a disadvantage to play CryptKitties, affecting the profit gained. We also suggested countermeasures to improve fairness. This is today's agenda. I would like to start with the introduction. After Bitcoin, many, research, many challenges are faced by researchers to make economic activities performed autonomously without a third party. An example use case of Bitcoin is a simple application to conduct payments. In this case, Requirements on application level security of the simple payment process are relatively simple. A case of Bitcoin, it prevents the double spending problem. When two users trade something, the amount of payment is assumed to be correctly agreed upon between payer and payee. Also, there are ongoing debates about the know your customers and anti money laundering regulatory requirements. On the other hand, Ethereum tries to realize smart contracts, which is a growing topic within decentralized finance. Application level security requirements for smart contracts are so complex compared to those who simple payment processes. One of the most significant expectations of a smart contract is the to provide transparency and fairness of an economic system. While this has been realized for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, it is unclear if we can expect the same for smart contracts, which is how we set our research questions. Although there is a lot of prior work about the fairness of an ordinary financial system, they do not discuss the fairness of markets and autonomously by code. To discuss the fairness of smart contracts, we need to consider two aspects in addition to the concept of the fairness of the ordinary financial system. The first is effect by autonomous execution. Autonomous execution may make difficult for users to manage their asset and strategy and to be convinced that their financial transactions are executed over a fair setting. The second is regarding the trust of the program programming code. The user should be able to trust the programming code of the smart contract platform. We currently, we currently however, do not have good criteria to evaluate the fairness of a specific smart contract platform or application. The further discussion on a larger scale is required regarding the fairness of smart contracts as a whole. Our research contributes by analyzing the source of unfairness of smart contracts, providing a basis for future development on evaluation criteria. Then we discuss the potential unfairness of a market created by smart contracts. We research CryptoKitties as a case study. This is one of the most popular blockchain-based games. It is said that its economic effect is more than $40 million. In this game, it's not fair. A lot of users and users are influenced. The existence of potential unfairness may lead to a question regarding CryptoKitties legitimacy and the place to exchange cryptocurrency. Specifically, we investigate the internal algorithm of CryptoKitties to determine the potential price of each token. Especially, we focus on how a token is created. 
traders aim to earn ethers by trading tokens. If this algorithm is not fair, there is a risk that users will unfairly lose ethers. Also, we look into the format and the environment to trade tokens. As a result, we find that CryptoKitties does not satisfy some of the fair market conditions. The Dean determination algorithm does not have qualified randomness, and those who are aware of this fact can gain unfair and advantage. We figure out that they are the cause of information asymmetry. In addition, when two players are colluding, other players lose opportunities to gain ESS. Like this, we find the source of unfairness. Next, I would like to provide the background. First, I explain blockchain briefly. Blockchain is a distributed cryptocurrency ledger. Every user is treated as a node. Every node has blockchain data and connected P2P network. Blockchain guarantees immutability. Since each node has transaction data, when a hacker tries to alter it, he has to attack all nodes, which is not feasible. Nodes also enable anonymity. We can't identify a user from their blockchain data. Then, now I, I explain smart contracts. It is an automatic contract execution system, which was proposed by Nick Suzarbo in 1994. This system doesn't need a third party for contract execution. Before execution, users define a contract. If a user agrees with it, thereafter the contract is automatically executed. To execute the contract safely, predefinition must not be tampered with. To execute the contract safely, the result of a smart contract should be the same, no matter who runs it. If not, smart contracts don't have meaning. Different people would pay different prices for certain things, and that's not fair. Thus, we can't use a random number in a smart contract. Ethereum is the first cryptocurrency to be able to operate smart contracts. By uploading predefinition on blockchain, its immutability is guaranteed. Smart contract is coded in solidity. Next, I would like to introduce CryptoKitties. Players try to earn ESAs by trading ERC721 tokens. In this game, a token is treated as a kitty. By trading kitties, a player aims to make money. There are two ways to get a kitty, winning an auction or blessing from parent kitties. To give birth to a kitty, a player must set up parent kitties. There are two ways to choose parent kitties. A player chooses both parent kitties from those that they already own, or he borrows a serial kitty. To rent a kitty, that player has been an auction. Next, I explain the kitty in detail. Again, a kitty is ERC721 token. This token is a non fungible token, which NFT's value differs from each other, unlike cryptocurrency. A kitty has some parameters ID, generation, and genes. We can check them because they are on blockchain. For example, using ESA scan, we can find this kitty's parameters. This kitty's ID, this kitty's ID is 658054. The kitty gene is below and the duration is 12. ID assigned in the order of the birth. Generation is determined by the generations of the parent. A child generation is parent's bigger generations plus one. For example, 
When a parent generation are three and six, the child generation will be seven. This generation decides on its breeding period. The breeding period means the time between breeding once and being able to breed again. The smaller generation kitties breeding period will be small. So smaller generation kitties are popular and viable. Finally, genes decide a kitty's appearance. Genes is set up by gene determination algorithms written in solidity. Next, uh, we cover auctions, which is an alternate way to obtain a kitty. In this game, the auction adopts the DAT system. The value decreases as time passes. There are, there are two types of auctions in this game. The first one is that if a player wins, they can get a kitty. The other is that if a player wins, they can rent a kitty and they have to return the kitty after breeding. Here, I explain breeding in detail. As mentioned earlier, a player first set up parent kitties. The gene of the newborn kitties resulting from the breeding process is determined by an algorithm, whose input is kitties and block hash value, and its output is newborn kitty. When breeding, a player has to pay the breeding fee. Its amount is 0.008 is real. Here, we illustrate an overview of crypto kitties. Users are trading through the market. When breeding, a user pays money and gets a child kitty. The service manager profits from the breeding fee. The transaction that occurs in this game will be on blockchain. Next, we consider the fairness of crypto kitties markets. There are a lot of exist existing researches about the fairness of ordinary markets. We apply these pilot studies to evaluate fairness of crypto kitties. According to those studies, a fair market should provide equal opportunities to gain profit and protecting protect the weak. Equal chance means cheating is prevented. Information asymmetry is maintained relatively small, and the trading environment is equal for all participants. Protecting the weak means to protect those without sufficient information or poor negotiation skills or judgment. We explain these points in detail in the following slides. The first one is equal opportunities to gain profit. There are four approaches to ensure this. First, every player should have the opportunities to gain profit and take risks equally. So every player has a chance to get a valuable kitty and to gain users by selling it. Secondly, it should be impossible to cheat to earn money. A players can make money by selling a kitty. It shouldn't be possible a fairly obtain a kitty. Also, information asymmetry must remain relatively small. Information in this game means a kitty's price, which kitty is available, how to create a kitty, and so on. Such information, such information should not be limited to certain parties. Finally, the trading environment must also be equal for all participants. Player can trade kitties in the auction. We should ensure that the auction is fair for everyone involved. Besides equal opportunities, besides equal opportunities, crypt kitties should protect the weak. Two types of weaknesses are expected. The first one is those who have little information. The other is those who lack negotiation skills or judgment. 
players negotiate in the auction. In order to win the auction, financial resource is important. Rich players are easy to win an auction and get a kitty. We therefore define weak players as those who have little fans. We also consider when a player judges something. We think that judgment is critical when selecting parent kitties. To gain profit, it is important to get a valuable kitty. To get a good kitty, players should understand the algorithms implemented in Solidity and select good parent kitties based on that knowledge. Players who have ability, who have, who have abilities that mean, mean understanding this algorithm. Thus, we define those who can't understand solidity as weak players. It's the mentioned conditions. We define conditions for fairness. Plus, knowledge players should not be at disadvantage. Second, players who cannot read solidity should not be at a disadvantage. Third, all users should be notified of all trading opportunities. Fourth, the player base should be large enough such that, such that the supply and the demand behavior of a few players do not affect the entire market. Finally, all users should have an equal chance for profit. As a result, we find that CritKitties does not meet some of these requirements. Here, we describe them in detail. We focus on gene determination algorithms referred to as GDA for short, which decides on kitty's value. Though I omit the detail of this algorithm, the important thing is that the input is parent kitty's genes and maternal kitty's target block hash. The target block is the block expected to publish when the maternal kitty can breed again. We can know the breeding period Though CryptKitties makes the target block unknown, we can predict which block is the target block. Because GDA is a smart contract, if we know the input, we can predict the attributes of a newborn kitty. We, in we insist that predictable results can lead to inequality in this game. To begin with, we can infer which kitty is variable. Based on transactions on blockchain, we can find out what kind of kitty is selling well. Then a player has to pay the breeding fee each breeding. To run ethers, he should get a kitty whose value is more than the breeding fee. Since we can predict which kitty will be born, we know the way to produce these kitties and should select parent kitties. However, as we know which kitties should be breeding, these parent kitties will be high demand. These kitties will be expensive and not rich players will struggle to obtain them as rich players naturally win auctions. So it is difficult for non-rich players to earn ESA. So, CryptoKitties doesn't meet condition number one and number five. In addition, players must understand GDA to gain profit, which is only expressed with solidity. Those who can't read solidity won't be able to predict a newborn kitty, putting them at a disadvantage. Therefore, CryptoKitties is not satisfied with condition number two and number five. Finally, we show that when two players, Alessandro Bob, for example, are colluding, other players don't have opportunities to gain profit. Plus, Aris tells Bob which kitty will be sold and when she exhibits. 
who began bid for her kitty as soon as the auction begins. As the auction system is that, bidding means winning the auction. If they are colluding, other players won't be aware of the trade. So, Creep Kitties doesn't meet condition number three. Next, we suggest countermeasures to these issues. First, we consider GDA. Again, predictable results can lead to equality in this game. So, unpredictable algorithm is required. However, we can't use a random number in smart contracts. GDA needs two parent kitties. GDA needs two parent kitties genes and hash value. The fact that the target block is predictable is the cause of the unfairness. If the input of SHA256 is unknown, the result will be also unpredictable. As a result of ex examining the algorithm, we found that it was possible to predict what kind of kitty would be produced without knowing the hash value. In order to make the input unknown, we suggest that everyone decides on the input. We illustrate our solution with this diagram. First, each user generates a random number. The input of our GDA is sum of all numbers. We can't know this input, and GDA hashes this input. Using two parent kitties and hash value of the sum of random numbers, a baby kitty's attribute will be determined. Next, we address solidity readability. Because not all users can read solidity, crypto kitties should explain GDA through multiple representations such as diagrams, flowcharts, language descriptions, and so on. Finally, crypto kitties should contract collusion. This problem stems from the fact that the time between the auction stats and the winning bid is too short. By increasing the time between when an item listed and when a player can bid on it, for example, one era. A player not a part of the collision will be have time to react to the new bid. Here, we introduce the cause of inequality, which could not be addressed in our research. First, CryptoKitties managers are able to conduct insider trading. In insider trading, players with inside information participate in trades. Because of blockchain anonymity, if a developer takes part in this game and earns large ethers, we will not see his illegal activity. We also suspect that the breeding fee makes crypto kitties unfair. The fee has been increasing in price. Rich players won't hesitate the breeding because they afford ethers. In contrast, ordinary players are not able to reproduce kitties as many times. Therefore, they have fewer opportunities to get good kitties and gain profit than rich people. Crypt kitties should decrease the breeding fee to prevent limiting trading for non-rich players. In conclusion, we found factors that create equal inequality in CryptoKitties. GDA fails to provide all users equal opportunities for profit due to their lack of randomness and readability. Furthermore, there is potential for players to collude to unfair, unfairly keep kitties from others. We suggest countermeasures for these issues. We suggested that the output of GDA should be unpredictable and that GDA should be understandable to many people. We also came up with an idea that would make collusion in the auction pointless. 
Thank you for listening.